And by our Lord Jesus' own sacrifice, our sins are once and for all purged from us. All of us are redeemed, all new and cleansed by His blood. Yet I'm still deeply caught up in a cycle of sin. I can't even practice what I preach, no matter how hard I try. <sighs> caught in a cycle of sinning each day and confessing each night. This is the church that testifies Jesus' second coming, isn't it? Okay, we'll do this. Yes. You're just a lackey for that cult. Get, get, out, out, get, get out, out! Get out! Okay, get out. enough! Oh, Lord. I have only ever sought to follow your footprints. We have to find the cause of the desolation of the religious world. The cause? And what, may I ask you? Could that possibly be? Actually, the church is desolate in the end time because God has done a new work. You keep talking about new work again and again. How could there possibly be any new Elder work? Elder maybe, perhaps, there is truth somewhere. <sighs> Jesus himself said upon the cross, it is finished. Those were his words. What is it that you think he meant? Just stop. You're still just sitting there and denying the work of Christ. So according to what you've been saying, being saved in the age of grace is not the same as being saved in the end time? So the truly saved people are the ones who have been redeemed by God and then are completely purified in God's end-time work of judgment. And besides, the evil are not punished, so how can it be called judgment? Pastor Han. Where are you going? Elderon, please sit down. Such an experience is so true and real. <laughs> we never heard of such testimony of experience. Yes, this way must be from God. It's so obvious from these testimonies. Who else is able to reveal the corruption of man and bring such transformation to man? It feels so truthful to be saved like this. Preacher, do we have to receive the judgment and also receive the chastisement in order for us to be saved? Everyone, the word of Almighty God is the truth, the way, and the life. But first, man has to accept God's end-time chastisement and judgment before he can receive his wonderful promise. I'd like to give my true thanks to Almighty God for the fact that I can actually, in my life, have the opportunity to see God's appearance. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to Almighty God. Amen. Ever-flowing spring for people to enjoy. All people will turn to Him.